All right. All right. All right, so uh, thank you for having me. So Robin, I, I told him I was coming out, and uh, he said, we're doing a meetup beforehand. Do you want to do a talk? I was like, I'll do a lightning talk, because that's like, you know, I can throw that together and not have to prepare anything. But then the whole plane here, I was messing with my keynote and figured out how to use animations in keynote, which is like, uh, I don't know, does anyone know how to use animations in keynote and timing things? It's really interesting, but I finally figured it out. And so I just went crazy, and I made this like automatically timed presentation, for, so like start to finish every slide is timed, and I don't have to click anything so so it's uh so I ended up spending like probably 10 hours putting the thing together. <laughs> and and it, you won't see it from the substance, but like all the timing and everything took 90% of that time. Uh, so I'm going to talk at a little bit of a high speed. I'm sorry to anyone who, who's not a first uh, speaker of English, but uh, um, you know, I'll write it down later. And by the way, I have a link to a repository in here. So uh, in some of the demo stuff, don't worry about keeping up too much because you can go look at the code yourself. So as soon as I click this button, I'm on a timer. So, uh, so don't interrupt me, but I'd love to chat with you about anything in it uh, afterwards. So just write down a note or make a mental note and uh, be happy to chat. Uh, and that is it. So, mm, okay. So you might have heard this quote before. Uh, I think everyone can agree with it to some extent that what gets measured gets managed. Uh, but me personally, I spend a lot of my time with performance and figuring out how to improve that, especially application performance. So I figured I'd tweak it a little bit and say, what gets measured gets faster. And so as engineers, you know, we want to be scientific. We want to we want to look for evidence to validate our hypotheses or our assumptions about our applications. And so performance is no exception. We want to find evidence of are our apps performant. Uh, we don't want to go on gut. We want to actually think about it. So let's take a look at how we're measuring that or how we're getting that data today. Uh, so at development time, we might focus on things like optimizing our apps or profiling to, to see how well it's performing. And in production, we often have analytics to track performance of our applications. But uh, that, that leaves a little bit of a gap in between. And so are we covering our bases by just focusing on development and production uh, times? So at development, we have, uh, we're doing profiling, but we only do that when we're actually focusing on performance. It's inconsistent, and we'll throw the profiles away. And if you catch something in production, it's too late. Your users are already seeing it. It's going to be a lot more costly to fix. And in fact, IBM did research into the rel relative cost of fixing defects some time ago and found that design time was the fastest and production was 100 times more expensive to fix uh, a defect after it was discovered in production. But if we look at testing, we saw that it was only 15x. So, uh-oh, looks OK, there we go. So a defect caught in prod is about seven times more likely to fix than a defect caught in testing. And performance defects are defects. They're not an exception to this rule. So we should treat them the same as any other defect. Uh, so how can we catch these defects in our automated testing? And that's where we introduce a tool called Lighthouse. So Lighthouse is an amazing web auditing tool from the Chrome team. It measures performance and other things of application. And if you're familiar with it, you might say, but Jeff, don't we have to manually run that in the browser? And I say no to that. <laughs> I'm going to show you a better way. You can use Lighthouse also as a CLI, or you can use a tool called PWmetrics. So this is a tool maintain, maintained by uh, Paul Irish, also at Google, uh, that is a test automation utility on top of Lighthouse. And so uh, it, uh, while Lighthouse's responsibility is to visit URLs, perform some audits, and provide reports, PWmetric runs Lighthouse, it validates the results of the audit, and uploads the reports somewhere like Google Sheets, which is what we'll use in our demo today. So let's see how it's set up. Uh, but first, let's talk about our objectives for automated performance testing. We want to collect performance data for every PR after it's merged into our main branch. We want to plot commit by commit data visually to see performance at each commit and get notified, notified as soon as a regression appears with our performance. So let's see it. Um, so I recorded myself doing this, so no live coding to stick with the timing. and. Uh, also, nothing will go wrong, as we saw that disaster of a talk beforehand. <laughs> uh, so NX is the, the tool I'm going to use. Uh, it, nothing in here is NX specific, but I might as well put a plug in. Uh, you can develop like these big companies. Uh, its its main philosophy is monorepo style development. And uh, that, that has different meanings to different people. I'm happy to talk about that. But we start by creating a nest, an NX workspace. We give it the name perf track, and then we, we use the preset Angular and have it create an application inside called QuickTask. 
because everything's got to be Narwhal themed. So after everything's done installing, we can serve the app by running ng, ng serve prod, and uh, we'll leave that running so that now we can add and configure PW metrics in our project. So first, we'll add the PW metrics dependency to our workspace, just using yarn, uh, yarn add, and then we'll add an npm script to run PW metrics with the config file that we'll, we'll create in the next step. So we'll just call this script PW metrics, and all we're doing is passing a flag here that says uh, the fig config file that has yet to be created. And now we'll create the config file. So we'll call it PW metrics config.js. Right now, we'll just give it a URL of the homepage of our app so it can measure that page and tell us about the results. So now in my terminal, I'll call the npm script, and we'll see that PW metrics opened Lighthouse and then showed some results from, from the run. So now that we've got PW metrics set up, let's do something interesting and have it upload the results to Google Sheets. So this is the most complicated part of the process. Uh, it'll only take a couple minutes, and I can guarantee that. So uh, we'll start by going to the GitHub page. We'll scroll down to the section that tells you how to set up Google, Google Sheets. Basically, go to this page. You, you get some credentials from Google that you'll use to make API requests. You download the JSON file. And then uh, in my case, I'm going to just copy that or move that into a .env file uh, that we, we're not going to check into GitHub because it's got a client secret in there that I've covered up. And we'll set it to something called Google API credentials. Uh, I'm making it a string here. I don't really need to do that. It was just uh, not thinking. But uh, And then in here, for now, we're going to just JSON parse that from our uh, environment. And we use the .env library to automatically read that .env file and make it available as process of our as part of our process.environment. Um, so now we'll, uh, the next thing we want to do is copy the template sheet for our results. So on the PW metrics page, they have a, a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet you can use. We'll call it quick tusk perf tracking, click OK. And once it's done, we want to copy the ID from the URL. Uh, after I do my thing where I actually make that a proper header row, I don't know why they didn't do that, but. Uh, go to, so we copy that ID portion of the URL, and then we want to go back to uh, our config file and uh, add in some information. So first we want to say submit true. That just tells, that's their way of saying upload this to Google Sheets. I don't know why it's just called submit true, but it is. So then I provide the Sheets config, type of Google Sheets, and then I, pass, I paste in the ID that we just copied out of the URL. Uh, this, this property is valid if you're doing multiple runs, which is pretty easy to do. And I give it the table name that it's going to upload to. So now that it's set up, let's run our script again, and it should do something more interesting. So at the end, you see that it said it appended. So it didn't show me the chart before it actually appended. And we go back to our spreadsheet, and we see the results are plotted here. Now all the numbers are pretty close because it's not a very interesting app right now. So like the speed in, or speed, in, speed index is the only different number because it's not the same. Uh, but all our numbers are basically 1803. So this chart just has everything on the same dot. Now if we run it again, we didn't change anything, but uh, we can at least run it again to make sure that it's still appending rows. <coughs> then go over to Chrome and we see two points. So it's a flat line because nothing changed in between them. So, and there you have it. So we have PW metrics set up to test our app and upload the results for us to track over time. Next steps are up to you. Uh, configuring this in your CI environment is pretty easy to run that script. You'll want to run headless Chrome instead of it with UI, unless you already have your screen emulation set up. And this is best run as a post-merge job so that you save time in your PR uh, review process. And also because you don't really care about plotting the results of every PR that comes in, you want to, you want to check what's actually been committed to master. The other thing is we want to be able to add our commit SHA to each row in Google Sheets, which right now isn't supported by PW Metrics. I opened an issue today to suggest a feature to be able to add arbitrary comments, so we'll see how that goes. And we want to be able to add expectations to PW Metrics config to warn an error on perf regressions so that we get notified immediately when that's done. And that's really simple. That's actually built in. You just provide some config that you can see on the website. So that's it. I've got the repository here at go.nrwl.io slash perflog. Uh, so I'm Jeff Cross. You can get in touch with me this way. And we are hiring at Narwhal. Uh, Narwhal, I think, is a pretty great company. Uh, I've been around since it started. And uh, we're hiring in Europe, US, and Canada. 
and uh, looking for great Angular people and uh, React people if you know them, but most, mostly Angular. We're, we've been focused pretty heavily on Angular since we started. And uh, that's all I've got. So thank you.